All right, we're back. One week post-op, how am I feeling? Pretty darn good, considering. So, little tender, little sore, but I can move my arms around now and that's a big plus because I couldn't even tie my hair up, which is, I never wear my hair down, so it was very painful and I just I hated that. Uh, so, you're gonna need someone to look after you for the first couple of days. My partner, pretty much hosed me down in the shower, he shaved my legs, he looked after me, he washed my hair, all that kind of thing because you do start to feel a bit gross and you're not going to be able to do it on your own, that's for sure. So what else? So the first three days I was pretty much ugh, out of it. They gave me Endone, um, oh, Nurofen and Panadol and Diazepam and Diazepam is to help the tightness and spasms. So I think spasms, he said, happens to about 50% of women and I didn't get them, but I did get the tightness. So I took the diazepam and it knocks you right out. I can tell you that, it's fabulous. First three days, a bit of a blur. Um, the, the next few days after that, I started getting my, my shit together. Oh, and those first few days of getting out of bed is awful sitting up you're you're on your back and it, and it is it's a bit uncomfortable but sitting up is where it's i i don't know if it happens for everybody but got sharp burn just down this side and i had to support my boob and hold it and just wait till the burning just subsides because it is yeah, it wasn't fun after that i could get up on my own it was a struggle but i didn't get the sharp burn so you're gonna need that help, 100%, 100 Oh, when you wake up out of surgery, they will pop you in one of these beautiful bad boys. So that's just that, essentially it's just what I'm wearing now. It's just a bra that does up at the front, doop, like that. And that is what you'll be wearing for about six weeks um, and you can go out and buy your own if they're basically the same as this kind of thing just something supportive something that does up at the front you do not want something you don't want to be going around the back and oh god you can no I was looking everywhere just for something comfortable it does up at the front I didn't need something super expensive or whatever and guess what Target came through with the goods. Look at this. Post-surgery bras. Would you believe it? And guess what? 20 bucks. So I just got in there on that and I've got a couple other sports ones and whatever, but six weeks you're gonna wear this. None of those lacy, pretty, sexy lingerie, none of that. Just the uh, sexy granny bras. Um, I haven't actually been doing much of this yet, but I think oh, I'm supposed to start. Just grab some oil or some some form of moisturizer and lather that on your boobies because you don't want stretch marks and you want your skin to be moisturized and all whatever. So bio bio oil is what I'm just using, and I think a lot of people use that. So we will be doing that. I'm not sure if I mentioned in, mentioned it in my other videos because as we know I was kind of out of it. But um, I will mention it again. So this side I got a 350cc, this side was 395cc because one side was bigger than the other. Which is very common in uh, a lot of women so he wanted to make those as symmetrical as possible which I am very happy with. And um, under the muscle, so that's probably why it's going to be a little bit more painful, a bit more tender. And he wanted them to be um, closer together because my breasts sat kind of far apart. As you can, oh, I'll put a, I'll put some photos at the end of before and after because I noticed that I didn't do that in the one before. But yeah, I'm really happy. Here we go. That's. My hands in the air like I just don't care. And um, we got, this is the scarring as well, which I, I don't know if you can see that, but eh, there and there. And
and they'll go down and you can hardly see them like it's not even a problem whatsoever the fold it's under the fold and it doesn't bother me one little bit um, I did get some bruising in the middle here and it's gone down quite a bit but oh yeah you can still see it quite green around here um, that should go down that's still swollen as well this this actually this boob is still kind of um, numb I can't feel it in certain areas but that'll come back my nipples are really sensitive it does get exhausting I'm still I still like need to sit down all the time and catch my breath because I had surgery a week ago give me a break anyway one thing I want to say though is I absolutely hate sleeping on my back I hate it I'm a side sleeper I'm a tummy sleeper I hate sleeping on my back and you gotta sleep on your back for like six weeks I think so you wake up I wake up a few times in the night and you wake up in the morning and it's tight and it feels heavy and um almost winded and it's just painfully uncomfortable and I just I literally have to get up and sit up for a while before I go back to bed or I have to prop my pillows up and just try and sleep sitting up and it's just awful I just want to curl over onto my side so that is my that is my one hate at the moment but that will pass and I'm super excited for when it does now I'll leave it at that I don't think there's going to be too many changes. If you have any questions, any anything at all, comment below because I'll just I'll try to answer whatever I can. And also, a relevant topic completely. Yesterday, I went and bought this. Boom. Priceline had 40% off all cosmetics. So, what did I do? I went and bought, bought all of the NYX suede. So tomorrow I'm gonna do a swatch of every single one of them and review them. And right now I'm actually wearing one of them because I got impatient. Yesterday I um, actually swatched a few and they're still on my hands. So that must mean something. Anyway, we'll do a swatch of all of these and yeah. That's it for today. Catch you later.